Hi, this is Lita, your massage therapist from MassageClips.com. In this video, I'm going to show you some highly effective techniques that you can use when you need a quick solution for relieving tension and stress. The neck and shoulders is an area where most of us hold tension, so by massaging this area, we can often help relax the entire body. Also, the acupressure release and holds at the end can have a profoundly relaxing effect as they work on the deeper energies of the body. Remember the longer you hold these points or areas, the deeper the release will be. Take your time and move slowly and respect the deep space of peace and stillness your friend is drifting into. I also highly recommend that when you give a massage, take a few moments first to be still and quiet. Take a few deep breaths and relax. Then as you're giving your massage, practice being fully present, learning to feel and sense what feels good to your friend. Allow yourself to be in the moment and come from your heart. This will be felt by your friend and will make the difference between a good massage and a really great massage. So remember, breathe, relax, and enjoy. So we'll begin with some nice long strokes across the top of the shoulders. And up the neck. Here I'm working up both sides of the neck with my fingertips. By working the neck and shoulders, we can release tension in the whole body. Most people hold a lot of tension in their necks and shoulders. And here I'm using my knuckles down the back of either side of the neck, just gently. It's a great way to work down the neck and down to the top of the shoulders. Good, just working the top of the shoulders here, down the neck down to the top of the shoulders. Feeling for tight spots. A little bit more of the neck up either side of the spine. Good. And now we'll do some long strokes up the neck. It actually gives a nice gentle stretch to the neck. And reach under with one hand and then the other down either side of the spine. And you can begin to work up with your fingertips. Up the upper back between the spine and the shoulder blades, a tight area on most people. This feels really wonderful. Do that again. Okay, I've reached all the way down with both hands and working all the way up. Just feeling for tight areas. Stroking all the way up the neck. Reaching under with one hand and the other and just giving a nice long stroke up. Good. Now we'll work down the side of the neck. We're doing some gentle acupressure or shiatsu down the neck with the thumbs and always again staying on the back side of the neck along the muscle group there always just feeling for especially tight areas and giving those areas a little more attention and same on the other side Good. a little 
little bit more up the neck again. Now do some pressure points down the very top of the skull with the thumbs. They're, my thumbs are together working their way down the top of the skull and we'll begin to massage the skull, the scalp. There's acupressure points that go up over the neck and over the scalp, across the face, around the jaw. So working all those points along the top of the skull and massaging the scalp. You're working these pressure points as well. We hold a lot of tension in our scalps. So it's good to massage the scalp using enough pressure that you're really massaging the scalp, not just running your fingers over. It feels a lot better that way. and down the top of the scalp again with my thumbs. Just feels good. And now I'm working on the temple area, another really important area on the face. It's a good area to work if someone has a headache or just generally tense. And around the jaw area area that typically gets very tense as well. And let's just hold for a few moments. We're going to hold some acupressure points here. Now I'm beginning to hold the points at the very top of the shoulder blades. Some very important acupressure points for releasing tension in the shoulders. You just gently hold these points. They're usually very tense. If you th There's usually a knot here often. Just feel for that area and just hold it. And underneath that point, down a little farther towards the top of the scapula or some other points, just hold those areas. Just hold those areas. You can hold up for a couple minutes, just very gently. And after a minute or two, you begin to feel a gentle pulsing sometimes. It means the energy is moving there again better and a releasing. You feel the muscles begin to relax and let go. And now holding the points on either side of the spine on the neck, just halfway up the neck. This is an excellent acupressure neck and shoulder release. And then there's points on either side of the spine, on the very top of the spine, right underneath the skull, right underneath the occipital ridge, it's called, on either side of the spine, and just get comfortable and hold those points very gently. Very powerful acupressure points for relaxing the whole body. And again, just feel free to hold these for a couple of minutes and you'll feel a shift. You'll feel the person really let go and finish with the forehead and the heart chakra.